Hi, my name's Morag, I'm from Science Wizards, and today I'm going to teach you how to do some cool experiments. Bow! In this video, I'm going to show you how to do cool light experiments. For this, you will need some cardboard cut into a disc with a hole in the middle. You'll need two of those. You'll need circular paper, one with divided segments drawn or printed on, and one that has half of it coloured in black and the other half with black dashes or dots. You'll need some colouring pens and you'll need either half of a sort of barbecue stick or a pencil. The first experiment I'm going to do is Newton's disc. For this, you'll need one of your cardboard discs and your paper disc with the divided segments on. Then you'll need to use your pens to colour each segment in, in a different colour. So you should end up with a disc that looks like that. I've stuck this onto the back of one of my cardboard discs so that it's nice and sturdy. Then what you can do is put your pencil or barbecue stick through to make a little spinning top. So like that. Now how Newton's disc works is that when you spin it, you won't see the colours, you'll see no colours at all. So I've got a motor that I'm going to use to demonstrate it spinning really fast. So I'm just going to use a bit of blue tack to put on the back of my disc. I'm going to attach that to the top of my motor. Then just link these up. I'm just going to attach the battery. You should see the colours disappear. Now the next experiment we're going to do is Benin's disc, which is similar, except this time we're going to see colours instead of the colours disappearing. So this is where our black and white decorated disc comes in. So again, you attach that to the cardboard disc, put the hole through the middle, and again you can use your pencil or barbecue stick, but I'm going to demonstrate once again with the motor. Now this time, we should see colours. So attach the motor. Up there. Now, attach the battery. You should see circles of colour as it spins around. And there you go. That's how to do cool light experiments.